Hi everyone, Anastasia from Reamer Family Farm here. It is a brisk morning on the farm, but I wanted to take some time to address one of the common questions that we get. How do you keep the cattle grass-fed in winter? You know, how do they do in these cold Wisconsin winters? So I'm out here in the pasture with them. It's morning, so there's a little bit of frost on them. Got down uh, to zero last night, um, but they're doing well. You can see they're all kind of spread out. Um, so to answer the first question, how do we keep them grass fed? Well, we feed them hay. Our cattle are 100% grass fed year round. So this hay is cut from our pastures in the summer. Um, those hay croppings get stored for winter feed, which they're enjoying now. Um, so when we feed them, we use these bale rings, you can see, and, um, put the bales in the rings so that they can stick their heads in there. You can kind of see them here um, and kind of equally all eat the hay. And then we feed them every day in the winter, three to four bales. It depends on the, the bales nutrient content and the weather. If it's really cold, we'll give them extra bales. Um, if it's warmer, they won't eat as much, that kind of thing. Um, and then we move these bale rings every day. So if you look at these guys over here, they're all laying down and they're laying on hay that they didn't eat. Um, they will nibble on it while they do that. Let me see if I can zoom in here. There, so they're, some of them are eating while the others are laying on it. Breakfast in bed. So this way they get bedding and food. Um, I'll kind of show you here. So they have this whole north area um, in the winter. And you can see, like, we started the bales way back there. And as we move forward, I mean, you don't see big piles of hay because they eat it down, they use it as bedding, it gets put back into the soil. And while the soil is hard right now and frozen, um, come springtime we'll plant cover crops out here and put the pigs out here eventually um, make some hay off of it as well. So this, the cover crops have um, different plants in there to help break up the compaction that happens over winter. So that's why the cattle are in this limited area um, to try and protect it because they do some damage over the winter just by being concentrated in these areas as opposed to rotating every single day. But we try to guide that herd movement by moving their hay. So they have Hey, out here we bring it to them. They've got a mineral feeder. That's their salt shaker, if, if you will. Um, all the different salts and minerals that they need. It's free choice, just like in the summer. It's the same feeder. And then their paddock goes all the way around to the barn, way back here. And in the barn, they have overwinter water, so it's a no-freeze system. We check it every day, especially on these cold mornings, to make sure it didn't freeze overnight. And then um, there is a shelter over there as well. So if it's really windy, really cold, snowstorm, they have a place to go with a roof and uh, wind protection. They don't usually choose that, even sometimes on days where I feel like I would choose that. They're still out here, and that's because these cattle have really thick hides. They're built for weather like this. And with the really good hay that they get from our pastures, they really thrive over the winter. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I'll include some video of what it looks like for us to actually feed the bales, but I wanted to shoot this in the morning with no wind, a little bit quiet, the skid loader's loud. Um, but just so you can get an idea of what that looks like. So these long white strips are the rows of bales that we use to feed the cattle. Um, there's multiple rows from different hay harvests. So all of those hays are different nutrient levels. Um, some of them are round, some are square. It kind of depended on who was available to help us make hay that day and um, what the equipment. It was kind of nice to have a variety so we can um, feed them different types of bales um, depending on what the weather is and whatnot. And then we sell some of this hay as well.